volcano gases discovery. Major eruptions could have bigger impact on climate change than scientists originally believed. Now, let's take Yellowstone, for example. One of the facts that really shocked me is the amount of carbon dioxide that Yellowstone releases on a daily basis. I hope you're sitting down. 40,000 tons a day. 40,000 tons of carbon dioxide is released from Yellowstone on a normal, regular basis. Also, whenever we have earthquakes or volcanic uh, activity, these also release carbon dioxide and methane. Recently in Japan, people were wondering why they were smelling the rotten gas smell, the sulfur that is emitted usually around volcanoes. And they were wondering, since there was that kind of a smell, perhaps there was an earthquake imminent. And we know, yes, we have had earthquakes imminent in Japan. And just today we've had four earthquakes in an earthquake swarm in Japan, the biggest one being today 6.1 on the north part of the Big Island, north of Tokyo. Now, that's just one of the simple facts. But this has to do with major eruptions. Could they have impact on climate? Well, of course. Now, volcano eruptions have a much bigger impact on Earth climate than scientists previously estimated. This is according to a new finding. Humanity is losing the battle against climate change. The planet continued to warm year on year by man-made uh, climate change. But volcanic eruptions may be helping to cool the planet, at least temporarily. When volcanoes erupt on a large scale, they can plow thousands of tons of ash and debris into the atmosphere. These particles which remain in the atmosphere can block out the sunlight and that leads to a temporary cooling on the surface because there's not that much sunlight reaching the earth. But new research has found that this cooling effect could last much longer than they believed originally. Scientists from University of Colorado Boulder observed the aftermath from the eruption of Mount Kelut on the Indonesian island of Java in 2014. By flying unmanned planes over the volcano a month after the volcano, scientists noticed that there were still ash and dust particles hanging in the atmosphere from this eruption, and it suggested the debris loiters there for a long time. Yang Queen Zhu, the lead author of the re and research scientist at the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics at CU Boulder said, what we found for this eruption is that the volcanic ash can persist for a long time. They saw some large particles floating around the atmosphere a month after the eruption, and it looked like ash. That's because the ash is so fine that it, it stays up there. Now, the team also found that the ash which remained in the sky, which they described as being like pumice, a lightweight volcanic rock, can speed up the process of turning sulfur dioxide into sulfuric acid. When volcanoes erupt, they release huge amounts of sulfur dioxide. In the sky, scientists believe the sulfur dioxide reacts with other particles in the air to form sulfuric oxide, which is much denser than sulfur dioxide, and it also helps to block out sunlight better, leading to more cooling effects on the Earth's surface. It's been thought this process took weeks, but the pumice-like ash in the atmosphere could speed up the process. The study co-author is Brian Toon, and he said, there has been a puzzle of why these reactions occur so fast. I think we've discovered something important here. It's subtle, but it could make a big difference. Ash and debris from the volcanic eruptions in the atmosphere can make a huge difference to the planet's temperature. Following the asteroid collision, which wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, huge amounts of ash and debris were plowed into the atmosphere, and it blocked out sunlight for tens of thousands of years. It brought on an ice age, and what they said, previous research from the University of Berkeley, California, believes there's evidence to suggest non-avian dinosaurs survived 30,000 years after that, and they eventually went extinct due to 100,000 years of drastic climate change caused by this impact. This is by Sean Martin on Express UK. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.